Okay, this video is about one-step equations uh, with the operations of addition and subtraction. And your objective for this video is to be able to solve one-step equations involving addition and subtraction. Okay, so I wrote some steps out here for you. Number one, your goal is to isolate the variable. In other words, get the variable by itself by performing the necessary operations to remove everything else. Number two, to solve one-step equations, simply perform the inverse operation. I'll explain what that means in just a second. Number three, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other side. And number four, make sure to check your answer by plugging in the answer for the variable in the original equation. Okay, so let's go through this. Uh, here I have a few examples. You can see up at the top. Uh, left there, 5 plus x equals 12. Okay, so our goal again is to isolate the variable to get x by itself. And uh, so what we're going to try to do is right now x is being, we can see, added to 5, the number 5. And uh, here's our equal sign and here is the what everything equals to. Now, I know a lot of you can... Uh, see what this answer is going to be and probably you can figure it out but uh, just so we can go through the steps because it might not always be as easy to see right away we will go ahead and uh, perform some of these go through some of these steps that I showed earlier so again as I said our goal is to isolate the variable and whatever we do to the left side we have to do the right side so I'm going to draw a line right down here uh, the we're saying on each side of the equation that's what that means and so the inverse operation of addition is subtraction so instead of x being added to 5 we're now going to subtract 5 from both sides of the equation and then we're going to see that uh, x plus 5 and then if we minus the 5 we're just going to get x by itself and 12, 12 minus 5 is going to give us 7. Okay, and we'll bring down that equal sign, and so it's not very pretty, but we can see that x equals 7. Now, the last step we said was be to check our answer, and so I'm going to do that right here. I'm going to put in 7 in for x in the original equation, so I'm going to get 5 plus 7 equals 12 and we can see that that is correct and so we got the right answer of x equals 7 okay let's uh, move down here we have x minus 3 equals negative 4 okay and in this case uh, again we want to isolate the x get it by itself and so the inverse operation of subtracting 3 is adding 3. So what we're going to do is draw the line here. We're going to add 3 to both sides of the equation. And right here we get x. And then that equals. And then negative 4 plus 3 gives us a negative 1. So our answer should be x equals negative 1. And we can just double check to see if that is correct by putting in negative 1 for x into the original equation. So negative 1 minus 3 equals negative 4 and we can see that that is correct. So we got the right answer. Okay, uh, looking up at the top here, we have a few more. x plus 4 equals negative 8. So what I'm going to do is again draw the line uh, get x by itself. If x is being added to 4, I'm going to subtract 4 to both sides, and we're going to get this cancels out, right? So we get x equals negative 12, and if we go ahead and plug in negative 12 in for x, we get negative 12 plus 4 equals negative 8. Okay, we're plugging it into this original 
equation by replacing negative 12 for x and negative 4 uh, uh, sorry negative 12 plus 4 does equal negative 8 so that's correct so uh, this was our correct answer was x equals negative 12 and last but not least we'll draw our line here let's see uh, x is being added to negative 7 here so we're going to uh, if we're adding negative 7 the opposite of uh, can get a little bit confusing but what we're trying to do is make this negative 7 become a 0 and get x by itself so we're actually going to this is kind of like saying uh, if you think about it right x x plus negative 7 is kind of the same thing as saying x minus 7 okay so in this case again what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add 7 to both sides and that's going to make these cancel and get x by itself which is what we want so this is going to be x and then equals and 15 plus 7 is 22 and we can check this answer to see if it is correct by putting in 22 for x so we get negative 7 plus 22 equals 15 and if you do that math it is indeed correct so x equals 22 is the correct answer okay this was just a short video on solving one step equation using addition and subtraction I do thank you for watching